The olive tree has displayed its wisdom and graced the bounteous sunny landscapes of southern France for more than 10,000 years. At the present time, there are over 100 varieties of olive tree in France, each growing in a specific small area only in the south. And seven of these oil-growing terroirs, very soon to be eight, are recognized in Europe thanks to the PDO Protected Designation of Origin Certification for Olive Oil. Each oil is derived from a different variety in terroir. Each, therefore, has its own specific aroma. The savors of olive oils from the south of France are classified according to three different families, subtle, intense, and traditional. Thanks to the craftsmanship of the mill operators, the olives are pressed, and the fruit thereby metamorphosed into the elixir that will add a sublime note to any dish. Ours is a traditional small-scale production with a certification AOC Aix-en-Provence for three main varieties, the Aglando, the Salonanc, and the Cayenne. Each AOC is different if it's only because some oils are of the fruity late harvest type, whereas ours, for example, in the Valley of Beau de Provence is a fruity early harvest oil. Then there are the distinctive types of olive which vary from one AOC to another and which have distinctive flavors. What I advise people to do is to come to olive oils as they come to wine. It requires exactly the same approach, even if it's a quite different product. It's a question of knowledge and discovery. Behind every bottle of olive oil, there's a man. There's a history, there's a terroir, and there's also the use the oil is made for. You can't disassociate an olive oil from what it is to be used for. So when you savor an olive oil, it's gratifying for the palate of the connoisseur, but first and foremost, you have to decide what you want of it. The aromas of our oils are predominantly those of fresh almonds, cut grass, raw artichoke. They're quite robust, a little pungent at the back of the throat, and slightly bitter. Our production is composed of many types and identities. In fact, we have two identities, a fruity green and a fruity black. The former fresh and herbaceous, the latter with more tin, vegetal, forest overtones and black olive. Our preoccupation is with safeguarding the quality of our oils, so our harvesting methods remain traditional, using nets on the ground, raking the olives off the tree and gathering only the freshly fallen ones, then transferring the olives to the mill immediately to extract the oil. Our predecessors used to say that in fact the olive tree rewards you a hundredfold for the care it receives. So that is what we try to do all year round. Give our trees a maximum of tender loving care so that they give us the maximum back in an oil of superb quality. The French producer, whoever he is, is a craftsman of luxury goods, but luxury in the positive sense. That is to say, what is sustainable, what sets the product apart from the rest. It's an aspect we try to emphasize nowadays, something that is long-lasting and unchanging, whether it be in the wine sector, the cheese sector, or the olive oil sector. And the system invented by the French, the PDO, comes in extremely useful to us as a safeguard. <laughs>